Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Build a Preneur. This is Spencer. Today is going to be a pretty quick lesson. We want to talk a lot about WordPress. We've had a lot of people requesting that we talk a little bit about building a menu in WordPress. It actually can be quite confusing, and I can now remember my very first time building a, a menu in my first WordPress site, how confused I was. And then once I figured out how it worked, I felt really dumb because it actually isn't that hard. Uh, but it can be a little confusing at first, and so we'll try to explain how WordPress menus work and how to get your first WordPress menu up and running. And we're going to use Build-A-Preneur's actual website like we always do for things like this. And so if you look here, you can log into your own WordPress site the same way we have, and you'll see a dashboard just like this. This is just your opening dashboard page. You can see right here, dashboard, and you're going to get all these options here. And so the place that we go to mess with our menus is actually right here in Appearance. It gives us a bunch of options there. And there it is, menus. And so we're going to click and go over to our menus. And it looks kind of confusing. Menus, like what do you mean multiple menus? Well, I only want one menu. And that's totally understandable. You can have multiple menus for testing or a lot of different reasons. You probably will on your website only have one menu. And so that's what we're going to focus on. And you're probably not going to have any menus because uh, if you're watching this video, then you probably are doing so because you don't have any menus. So you'll have something along the lines of this button, create a new menu. We have a menu up and running already. I'm not going to edit that because I don't want to mess anything up. But let's create a new menu, and that's what you'll do as well. Give it a name. You'll probably want to name it something along the lines of primary because this will be your main menu. It'll be the menu you use across your entire site for everything that you do. So you'll click Create Menu. Okay, now as you can see, there's nothing there. Your menu structure, which is basically going to show you exactly what your menu is going to look like, should start as empty. So it says you got to add menu items. And so it wants you to add from over here. These are your pages, and you can see your posts as well. So we have a different uh, video on Builderpreneur about the difference between pages and posts. But just understand pretty much your blog will have all of your posts, and pages will be more stagnant, static pages, uh, such as a home page or a services page maybe an About Us page, something like that. But here's all the pages we have right now. We're pretty fresh. This is right when we're building our site as well. Here's the posts we have right now. As you can see, not too many posts. Or you can build custom links into your menu, anything you want, really. Let's focus on pages. These are the pages we built so far. And these are going to be our menu pages because we decided to start with that. So we're going to have a menu on teaching online courses. We're going to have a entire menu item on consulting, an entire menu item on blogging. Uh, you can see all our menu items here. And so it's pretty simple. Once you've created the page, which we have other videos that show you how to do that, you just go to Pages and Add New. And the page will show up right here. So you'll just select the ones you want. Let's see, we want this menu to have you know, these pages right here. And as your site gets bigger, you might have 100 pages here, and you're only going to want five or six of them to show up in your menu. There, you're they're your main landing pages, right? That kind of link out to all your other pages. So let's say we wanted those ones. This is what we want our menu to look like. Uh, we can add our home if we want, but typically your website is going to have your logo in the top left corner or wherever your logo appears, and that is going to link to your home page. So you don't really need to have a home link in your menu. Most people have learned by now that they can click on a logo and it will take them to their home page. Anyway, we'll, we'll do that. We'll add it to the menu. Whoops. And boom, there it is. And <clears throat> All right, and the second thing you can do is you can actually have secondary items. So have you ever gone to a menu and you hover your mouse over the menu and it actually pulls up kind of secondary menus? So within marketing, it might say SEO or advertising or email marketing have a bunch of those options and we want them to be able to hover over the marketing part of the menu and get those options and so let's pretend that uh, let's say that we wanted to do that let's say that eh, for the sake of fun let's just say that our blog was a sub menu of marketing so I'd add that to the menu Add the blog I keep messing that up there so there's our blog let's say this means SEO and it's a sub menu of marketing I can click it and just drag it up here to marketing, and then I can drag it just a little bit this way. Watch, and it'll push it in there. Sub item. That is now a sub item of marketing. If I go to my website and I hover over marketing, boom, that's going to show up. 
And so you can do that with all these items. You can add sub items and regular items, and you can build your entire URL structure right here. And it's very simple, as you can see. This is my menu, these five. This is my sub menu of marketing, and I can go add other sub menus if I want. The last thing that's really important is that you need to declare what that menu is going to be. And so your top navigation menu is the one that you're probably thinking of. That's the top menu on most websites. It's the top, the main navigation menu. And currently, mine is set to testing menu, the one that we're using as we're building our site. But you would just need to click this. Yes, I want that to be my top navigation menu. And it will start showing up as that. And in fact, let's save the menu. And whoop, struggling there. Okay, and then we'll just go to buildapreneur.com. And it will have updated. It'll give us the exact menu that we've just built. All right, and it will have updated, and it will have given us the exact menu we just built. So there it is, you see? This is the menu we just built. If we hover over marketing, there's blog because we made it a sub item of marketing. And there's the other five as well. The menu looks beautiful. Like we said, if we click here, it's going to take us back to home. We were already on the home page, so it's really not going to take us anywhere new. But that's that. And so if you look there, that's your menu. You can do whatever you want with it. You can add blog posts to your menu. You can make custom links if you want your menu to link to maybe other sites or other things like that. If you maybe want to just have a menu option where it can link them to blog posts that are categorized in a certain way, you can do that as well. There's literally anything you can do with a WordPress menu. Uh, so it's very easy to use. It's very simple once you understand it. And uh, it's very logical. And so if there's any questions, go ahead and comment below. And good luck creating your WordPress menu.